Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Thursday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, so I want to show you, you know, I'll show you the daily and the hourly chart, but what I want to emphasize is that we are in this consolidation phase, and it's all kind of coming to a, to, to a head here, in my opinion. We're, we're going to get a move, whether it's up or down, um, in the next session or two. Uh, yesterday was one of the more narrow ranges that we've seen, and it was still a fairly wide range. I mean, we did 26 on the down and 61 on the up. Regular session was a little narrower, but it was pretty whippy yesterday. So when we get around these big inflection points, big inflection point being the green line there, the daily mid-band, you got the nine-day simple moving average underneath. Um, it's going to whip. They're going to fight over it. So if you're if you are short-term trading that stuff, it's going to get choppy. It's going to get whippy. You're going to get some really good trades in there, and you're going to, you know, you're probably going to get whipped out of a couple that you would have liked to have stayed in, you know, along the road. But it's, you know, that's just part of trading. There's consolidations. There's expansions. So as we look at the hourly chart, you can really see the grind that we stayed in for the vast majority of yesterday. So basically, what you had yesterday in the regular session was a false breakdown a false breakout, and then a migration back to where we started, okay? Nothing, false breakdown, false break up, back to the middle, and we pretty much ground all night. Now, trying to pop it back up here. We're currently testing at, um, at 26.56. We are currently testing the daily mid-band again. This has been happening now for three consecutive sessions. My concern in being short is that there's only, only so many times we're going to bump our head on the daily mid-band before we go ahead and say, you know what, let's go take a ride. Let's go see what, you know, what monthly pivot up there feels like at 76. And that's fine. Is today going to be that day? I have no idea. But if the Bears want to ultimately win this battle, they need to start living below the... Um, the hourly mid-band during the regular session. This is Globex, okay? Your, your, your 9 a.m. is here, okay? They tried to take it down in Globex, they ramped them, and we spent the vast majority of the regular session above the hourly mid-band. We've kind of fought over it in both directions during Globex tonight, uh, last night, um, but if the Bears are ultimately gonna win this battle, they gotta get, you know, they gotta take 47 back, they need to convert the daily pivot. They need to win the battle over some of these areas. And if they can, then you know, then you can go back and you can try to test yesterday's low at 26. And you can ultimately go back and test what's been there, you know, uh, just the brick wall on the downside, which is that weekly pivot. Um, if the market gets into old habits like last year habits, then what we have is a very early test of weekly pivot early in the week here retested here, um, that can walk up as we get into Thursday and Friday. Thursday and Friday tend to be the more directional days uh, of the week. So the bottom line is sort out the weekly, uh, or sort out the weekly pivot, which I think we've sorted out to the upside. Um, wait for the bulls potentially to have some follow through if they can. And if they do have follow through, what'll happen is that daily mid band will end up being support instead of the resistance that it's been for the last three days. And you can go ahead and take a look at something like the 50 day. If you're gonna break down, the breakdown, the ability to break down, you can't really trust it until it converts the nine day simple to resistance. Uh, at that point, um, then, then you've got clear a, a clear view to uh, to weekly pivot. So uh, we're in a consolidation. You've got to be patient with it. You can't overtrade it. You can't let it chop you up too badly, and you can't let it distract you from being prepared to trade the next directional leg in the market. All right, everybody, have a good one. Uh, I will do some midday and wrap ups. Um, until then, trade them well. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.